there. So we're going to be making some paper dahlias for these beautiful things right here. And this is what you need. Need some cardboard or paper, like a poster board or something just a little bit thicker than paper for your base. And I heard, um, seven inches. I already have mine measured, but I'm gonna go ahead and cut it out. And I'm just using the cardboard from a cereal box because I ran out of poster board. So if you have something laying around like that, you can use that. I usually use poster board, but that's okay. And you're gonna need quite a bit of hot glue gun or hot glue sticks. I usually use about five. So make sure you have plenty of hot glue. All right. And here's this. Just remember it's about seven inches. It doesn't have to be it's about that size because you're going to be gluing your petals to it. All right, set that aside. Next, you're going to need some paper. And I just used some of this right here. And I'm doing green today. Uh, just because I felt like doing green. I've already done a bunch of other colors. And they're going to need to be three by three inch squares. And I already have mine measured up, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut mine out. And I have this nifty thing, but you can go ahead and use scissors if you want. This just makes it faster. And I used three sheets of paper per color. I got about 72 sheets. You're probably not gonna use that many, but it's better to have too many than not enough when you're making the flower. What you're going to want to do is take your piece of paper and kind of just twist it into a cone and take your glue and put a little bit down the edge and fold it together and make like a cone kind of like that again Fold it over. Glue it. 
fold and press. You make a petal. And I just kind of tuck them in there so that you can keep making them because you're going to have to make a lot of these. And it is a little time consuming, but once you get them and you get your flower all done, it's totally worth it. And these don't have to be perfect, and if you squish them a little bit on the end, that's okay because you're going to wind up squishing the ends anyway. But go ahead and just take all your paper and turn them into cones. I'm going to pause this for now. Okay. Once you've got all of your cones done, you're going to want to figure out which ones you want to go on the bottom and which ones you want to go into the center. Like if you want an ombre effect, you're going to want to figure out which ones you want to go where. Like I want the darker ones to go on the outer ring, so I'm going to want them to be on the bottom. So I'm going to want to do them first. So I'm going to pick the darkest green. And you can either lay them out first to make it easier on yourself to figure out how exactly you want to put them. just to get an idea. You're gonna to wanna to flatten the bottoms. Make them flat so that they're easy to glue down. isn't necessary I mean the flattening is but the laying them out first is not necessary I don't put them all out first because it kind of distracts me and stuff but you can even just put little marks in place of where you know you want to put them but I kind of just line up the this part of the petal with that outer ring of the base. But this lets me know about how many I'm gonna need. And they don't have to be touching because you're gonna come back through with a second layer of another color. So they don't have to be perfectly touching. That's about good. We'll just go ahead and use a glue stick. Put some glue there. Glue one down. Hot. 
just keep going around your circle. I like to turn mine as I go, that way I can try to make sure it's all even. That's our first layer. Layer number one. It doesn't have to be a perfect circle in the middle. That'll be okay. Okay. You can see we got a couple left over. That's okay. You can use them for another project or another flower, smaller one or whatever. Next, I'm going to use this color and do the same thing. This time I'm going to put it on the back and kind of do it in between the first petals and just put it down. Okay, so we're still working on our second layer here. Just gluing down our petals. Glue and push down. It's okay if they overlap just a little bit.
And there's the next layer. All right, and then come in with your last layer, or your last color. This one's going to have a couple of layers to it. So you'll get one go around, but then you just keep filling it in with that same color. If you want to make it easier on yourself when you get to this part, grab a pencil. That way, when you get it in right there, you can just press down with a pencil. Add one more. And there you have it. Finished. Paper Dahlia.